I am the China Grand Canal. 2,500 years ago, King Fuchai of Wu Dynasty initiated the excavation of the Han Canal, marking the beginning of my journey. On today's world map, I stretch 1,800 kilometers from north to south, connecting five major water systems, becoming the largest artificial canal in history. Nowadays, over 60% of the population in Jiangsu Providence lives along my banks. Spanning 690 kilometers, my most splendid selection is written within the boundaries of Jiangsu. Huayang cuisine, where refined and popular tastes harmonize in the realm of canal delicacies. Ordinary ingredients in their hands transform into the most exquisite dishes, almost like magic. Imperial dishes, the first dish of the nation, and at this moment, Huayang cuisine is also a favorite among April tourists. Bean sprouts, dried tofu, chives, and the iconic pod cover these imaginative transformations have become a cultural heritage passed down through generations. Inspired by the flavors of baiju, vinegar, and the essence of the cuisine, they form the foundation of taste on Chinese dining tables. A melody of delicate morning tea, and the most anticipated culinary delights all sprout here. A leisurely life, every sound is slow paced. The bond between me and this place is difficult to trace back to its origin. Having traveled far and wide for over three decades, I've witnessed my own evolution and carried the sentiments woven by time. Yangzhou, where the spring breeze spans, the branches are adorned with beautiful rare flowers. Every nook and cranny here carries a timeless legend passed down from generation to generation. To ensure the smooth flow of the canal, the entire embankment of the Hengsa Lake has been built for over 170 years. As the sun sets in the west, the ancient towns along the canal are filled with a vibrant essence of daily life. Originating from the land of China, Diverse forms of folk art gathered and spread through my cultural influence. They have also formed regional operas unique to each place. In leisure, one listens to melodies and constructs gardens. Guiyin Garden, a private garden belonging to salt merchants. The appearance of the humble administrator's garden changes with the seasons. It has witnessed centuries of transformations. In Jiangsu, due to the flow of the canal, garden culture has flourished unprecedentedly. The enduring heritage charm makes it a highly desired destination for visitors. temple by the Maple Bridge has a history of over 1,500 years. Originally named the Mayali Puming Tower, it now stands as the most poetic scenery along the canal. As the first stop for those heading south across the river, Si Jin Ferry guards both me and the city. Arriving at Xingwo Lane, along the river, I seek a place.
within the towering walls and deep courtyards of this place, many outstanding individuals have emerged. The hand-planted sulfora trees, over 2,200 years old, stand as a profound homage to King Chu. The Dragon King Temple Palace, located 30 kilometers away, also known as the Qianlong Palace, These remnants of a bygone era, preserved through the ages, allow the world to understand me and enable me to step towards the world. Ah! At this moment, standing on the water overpass in Hawaiian, you will be amazed by my magnificence. Shijo Port, the largest port in the canal, connects the logistic systems of roads, railways, and waterways. As the sun sets, the canal's waterfront unveils many hidden treasures awaiting your exploration. The revelry and liveliness belong to this group of people, and also to this shining canal city. I am the China Grand Canal, the encyclopedia of history and the spiritual home of this nation. On this interwoven map, I surge forward with millions of Chinese people, and our own happiness continues to unfold. <laughs>